Conservative commentator Matt Walsh is set to speak at the University of Iowa next week and is being met with opposition by some students on campus. He's known for his commentary on the transgender community and those who want that event to happen are really looking forward to his insight. But those against it worry his presence will promote hate. KCRG tv 9s Libby Randall joins us live with more. Libby. Those helping to host the event say the, they intend for Walsh to talk about whether or not transgender women should compete in women's sports and whether or not school-aged children should be taught about transitioning. Those against Walsh's appearance say they fear the trans community on campus will be unsafe because of his presence. Both sides say they are upset with the university's reaction. We think it's an important voice to have on campus. John Fazinski with Iowa Young Americans for Freedom, or YAF, says getting Matt Walsh to campus is a major accomplishment for the group. Many are looking for his insight on several topics. Whether you know, individuals who went through male puberty should be able to compete in women's sports, is that fair? Um, is this something that we should be teaching in schools to elementary kids? There are a lot of questions that need to be asked, and so we just want to have a discussion about that. Others have deemed his upcoming presence unsafe. I worried about my friends who are trans. UI Young Democratic Socialists of America co-chair Sophia Heller is one of over 430 who have signed this petition against the event, stating, quote, Matt Walsh is a notorious anti-trans inflammatory speaker. He claims to question the meaning behind gender. We're um, upset with the fact that he was able to come to campus and we want to organize and um, just make sure that every message of hate is also combated with a message of love and acceptance. YAF has stated they respect everyone's right to protest, but don't condone other forms of public opposition like vandalism. They believe this event will only help further what they say is an important conversation and welcome anyone in support or opposed to be a part of it. It helps not only those who are uh, politically active, but you know, those who are kind of in the middle of the ground of the issue really see both sides of the debate. Still, groups along with YDA stand firm Obviously. in their concerns, planning protests to show their support for the trans community on UI's campus. Why can't we have a community of love here at the University of Iowa that, you know, accepts accepts the transgender community and does not bring speakers like Matt Walsh to just further fuel hate and further threaten violence against these people? All of the representatives from the groups I spoke with today say they are upset by the university's reaction. In a statement written to TV9, the university said in part, the university recognizes the tension between maintaining a welcoming environment and an environment where ideas may be freely expressed, even ideas that may be controversial or offensive. Administrators are sharing resources for students who have concerns about safety on either side of the issue. The university says that they do not share event security details for safety reasons. Several students say they plan to protest outside of the event, which is scheduled one week from today. Live in studio, Libby Randall, KCRG-TV 9 News.